Saeed Safi. He's chair of the political office of the Syrian National Council, the SNC. That's a coalition of opposition groups. Um, Louis Safi, uh, let's talk about um, uh, the UN Human Rights Chief, Navi Pillay, her warning today. She warned uh, that Syria is in danger of descending uh, into civil war. What's your assessment of the situation now, today? Is civil war looming in Syria? I agree with this statement that the situation in Syria is is bad and getting worse. The government doesn't seem to uh, appreciate the, the severity of the situation. Of course, they are trying to make it worse. They still believe that through the sheer for use of force, they can control the situation. We disagree with them. Uh, but that, that statement is, is, is correct. We're now hearing um, of many more reports that soldiers, uh, Syrian soldiers, uh, are being killed, which may suggest that there's much more, uh, perhaps, of an armed resistance. But the U.S. ambassador warned that the protesters should not take up arms because this legitimizes the crackdown by Assad and his regime. So let me ask you, is the nature of the resistance changing uh, to an armed one? There is a pool by few people, a few uh, forces within, within the, the opposition, within the revolutionaries, to take the country toward armed resistance. Most people disagree with that. The council itself has, still uh, believes that uh, the best approach is to have an armed resistance, peaceful resistance. Um, and uh, definitely uh, what's happening, though, is that there are more split within the military and those who are splitting are using whatever weapons they have to fight back and they want to defend the civilians. Again, uh, the, there, is a, there is a disagreement on the wisdom. So what's the wisdom SNC's official position? You're, you don't support the armed struggle? Our position at this point is that we believe that the Syrian regime would fall um, on its own if the outside world stopped supporting it. Uh, and if the pressure has increased because the, the economy is in a bad shape, uh, beginning November 1st, uh, the European Union will stop impo importing any of the petroleum from Syria, and that has been an, a major source for the government to use for the security forces. Well, let's just talk about that uh, outside help, because we saw Russia and China uh, with that veto uh, against any, uh, any sanctions against Syria. The, um, uh, the, human, uh, the UN Human Rights Chief also said there's a distinct lack of effort um, by the international community to put pressure uh, on the Syrian regime. What are you doing? What's the SNC doing now to get wider international support, to get wider international consensus um, to help people in Syria? Uh, but our assessment at this point is that really the world is half-hearted in terms of supporting the Syrian people. Uh, there are many uncertainties and that making many important uh, powers, world powers, reluctant to put complete all pressure on the, on the regime. We believe that with the, with the establishment and the completion of the setting of the Syrian National Council, that this situation should change. And that council is, is working hard to develop policies and channels of communications with different regional and, and world uh, powers. Uh, so this situation should change soon and the world would have to, to realize that ultimately they should support the Syrian people and do it in a, in a complete way. Let me get a final thought from you. We saw how intervention in the Libyan situation worked to bring about the collapse of the Gaddafi regime. Would the SNC welcome intervention in a similar fashion, a military intervention by the international community in Syria? No, this is not what we believe is the right way, the, the right thing to do now. Uh, that would uh, bring the country into a chaotic situation and possibly civil war. We should avoid civil war by all costs, and we believe that the regime would fall if the Syrian people would continue opposing it and the world stop giving any support from the outside. Louis Safay, thank you for talking to Al Jazeera. Okay.